It almost looked like a scene from the Bible, a group of people performing a special procession for the Jewish holiday of Shavuot, using sheep, a special bread, and a sacrificial altar, similar to the one described in the Torah. We're practicing the different parts of the priestly work of the work of the Kohanim in the temple. And today we're going to see a few things. We're going to see the Bikurim, all the pilgrimage that come with the first fruit uh, to Jerusalem, how they would bring it, how we would praise God in the temple. And uh, from that point of view, it's also something that the priests have to know how to um, uh, get the people and also the people themselves, uh, what they have to say and how they proceed as they get into the temple. This event gathered different organizations which share the same goal, rebuilding a third Jewish temple on the Temple Mount. <coughs> it's of course a sensitive issue during a geopolitical atmosphere of today when every small change in the status quo may lead to violence and crisis. The leader of this initiative, Rabbi Baruch Kahana, is the son of far-right wing politician Mayor Kahana, who was assassinated in 1990 by an Egyptian-born U.S. citizen. It can be miraculous, and as it can be any day. It will take a lot of uh, convincing, of course, to try to convince the, um, the people, but uh, it will go. In previous years, this event and other reenactments took place in Jerusalem, close to the Temple Mount. But due to several obstacles, such as density and police disapproval, this ceremony moved here to Mitzpah Jericho in the Judean desert, close to the Palestinian Palestinian city of Jericho and around 20 kilometers away from Jerusalem. A huge altar was built here, which resembles in a way the Jewish temple altar used for sacrifices. The event also included shearing of sheep. In the army, we always do what's called dry before wet without uh, ammunition and then with ammunition. So just like that, we also are doing exercises of the Kohanim that aren't real yet, but it's to practice and uh, so that we know how to uh, conduct ourselves and how to do everything that we need to do when we uh, have our home, Beit HaMikdash. Practicing and reenacting ancient processions as well as praying on the Temple Mount is a controversial issue, even in the Jewish Orthodox world, since the site is holy to both Jews and Muslims. But participants in this event defend their actions. According to our tradition, the whole world was created from the Temple Mount, from the foundation stone, Adam. So it's very obvious that everybody not only Jews want to come back from the place they were created. It's the most holy place in the world. And uh, us as Jews, uh, we have a very long tradition on, on the Temple Mount uh, from Noah and Abraham and Isaac and later on King David and King Solomon and the first temple and the second temple. And that's the essence of our being. Hello. Despite the many challenges, participants of this unique ceremony hope to continue their tradition, which now includes only a few dozen people.